Am I the a-hole for moving out when my stepsister ruined my Father's Day gift for my dad? I female 16, live with my mom, stepdad, and stepsister 18, and stepbrother 20. I lost my dad to cancer when I was 13 years old. We were very close and his death was a major loss in my life. I wasn't able to keep much of his belongings because of my stepdad's insecurities and lack of sympathy and respect for me and my dad. It's sad to say that mom moved on relatively fast. My stepsister and I share a room together. My stepbrother has the bigger room because he's a man and as a result me and my stepsister are always in conflict. She wants me out during the day as she uses the room as her art studio. She recently accused me of stealing her tools and convinced her dad to get a lock so now I'm being forcefully locked out and can't get in till after a huge argument and getting mom involved. My stepsister had an argument with her brother and ruined his gaming console when he was out. He came into the room quietly in the evening, stood by the door and asked me to bring him my stepsister's acrylic paint set. I asked if he got permission he said yes so I gave it to him and went back to study. Had access to her room and ruined her paint set. There was a lot of yelling and arguing. Stepdad asked how my stepbrother walked into the room when it was supposed to be locked. My stepbrother admitted I helped him out and brought the paint set to high. My stepsister went off on me, called an accomplice then ran upstairs and took the gift I prepared for my dad for Father's Day. I picked up flowers I planted from our small garden that I take care of by myself. And prepared a nice wooden letter-shaped pot Tilda used my dad's first initial Tilda and filled it with the flowers I picked and decorated it with ribbons. It wasn't that good but it was like a floral letter. I planned to visit his grave and put the gift there. She damaged it to pieces. It was completely ruined. I yelled at her and kept crying. Mom and stepdad gave her harsh punishment and thought it was fixable but I was so done I called my uncle who came and berated my mom and stepdad. Stepdad offered to fix it and punish my stepdaughter harder but I packed my things to go with my uncle. My mom begged me to stay but I refused and didn't respond when she kept calling saying she did nothing to deserve to be shunned by me and my uncle who told the family about what happened. The family told mom not to come visit on Father's Day and are angry with her because I moved out over this. Am I the a-hole? Am I the a-hole for walking out after I opened the gift my stepson brought me for Father's Day? I male 37 have two stepkids, girl 11 amp, boy 16, my stepdaughter is the apple of my eye, I love her to pieces but my stepson has a difficult personality. He never does anything with us, he never let me help him with anything and keeps his distance from me. He also never tells me about his problems or achievements and it's been difficult trying to establish a good bond with him like my stepdaughter. My wife says that's his nature so I should stop pressuring him. Till he recently started spending time with me but every time he'd pull a nasty prank. Like replace my shampoo or ruin my credit card or ruin my tires, rear lights. This caused a rift between us especially since my wife says those are pranks. But I was worried for my safety and got paranoid from getting in the car or going to the supermarket with a ruined credit card. So I kept my distance. Father's Day, I took my wife and my stepson and stepdaughter to her parents' house for breakfast. I received a beautiful gift from my stepdaughter and didn't expect my stepson to get me anything as always. But he did bring me a gift. It looked like a nice gift in a box and was beautifully wrapped and introduced. I was so excited and happy because all I was thinking of was not the gift itself but the fact my stepson is finally letting me be part of his life and remembering me on Father's Day so it meant the world to me. That was already my gift but I couldn't wait to open it and show him my appreciation and gratitude. Well, I opened the box and saw a stinky old sock of mine that I've lost a couple of months ago placed inside. The look on my face said it all. My stepson encouraged me to show everybody what he's got me. I didn't want to but my father-in-law took the box and pulled out the sock. He looked confused and my stepson started laughing hysterically and so did others. It was an absolute horrible moment I wished I could just jump out the window and run away from embarrassment. I just got up and walked out the room silently while my stepson was laughing behind. 
My wife came to tell me that I overreacted massively and my stepson was just messing with me meaning it was a prank. But he embarrassed me in front of the entire family and frankly, I don't give a shit about a gift but what he did felt so humiliating I almost cried. She yet said that I shouldn't have walked out like that and made it awkward since I'm the adult and should have handled this better. I left my in-law's house and my wife and kids are still there. My wife is upset that I left and wanted to get some time alone and a good cry and remember my dad and try to keep my mind off what happened earlier. Am I the a-hole for this? Am I the a-hole for telling my kid's stepmother she doesn't get to make rules for my home in front of my former in-laws? I share two sons, 11 male, and 7 male, with my ex. He left me for his wife three years ago, they got married right after the divorce. I mention this because there are some tensions present due to this and also due to the fact my former in-laws and I got along so well and have not been welcoming toward ex's new wife. So anyway, ex and his wife put the boys in football and a church thing on their time. Ex actually signed them up for all the time but neither boy likes those activities. Ex says in his house they must do them. I say fine, but they won't do them with me. Ex's wife is the one with the biggest issue with my decision. She is very religious and believes boys should play sports and attend church. About a week ago my oldest was picking up a certificate from one of his chosen extracurriculars and me, ex and his wife were there while ex's parents and sister were outside waiting to celebrate. Ex's wife starts telling the boys that they need to do the church thing that Saturday afternoon whether they like it or not, which was my parenting time not ex's, and that they need to sign up for some other stuff for football which also fell on my parenting time. When we go outside, without the boys, they were with ex, I told her she did not get to make rules or demands in my home and she better not do that again the way she did. Ex's family backs me up and say she's not their parent, etc. She gets super pissed at me for doing that around them and then when X finds out he tells me I'm an asshole and should have waited and discussed it after. I told him I only care about the boys not hearing. And that he needs to nip that shit in the bud if he doesn't want stuff like that to happen again. She told me I made it even harder for their family to get along now and I should be ashamed. Am I the a-hole? Am I the a-hole for telling my adult daughter the truth about why I wasn't in her life? Recently, I got back in contact with my adult daughter M, after having had nothing to do with her since her birth. She's 25 now, but honestly I wasn't around from her birth all the way through to when her mother died a couple years ago. Now, I know I'm not a perfect person here, I've done some bad things, but in this case I don't think I was the bad guy. M's mother and I dated for about a year after I graduated high school in 95, while I was just in college. I'll be honest, her mother was a rebound girl. Never thought it would be a long-term relationship, or anything. We became close, and did couple things, but I always made certain to use protection. I didn't want kids at that stage in my life, and thought I'd made it clear to M's mother. After coming back from family vacation one summer, I'm surprised to find that her GF apartment is empty, and she's dropped off the face of the earth. Poof, gone. Over the past years, I often wondered what happened, but any attempts at searching for M's mother failed. A couple months ago I got a visitor out of the blue, and after some awkward moments, M introduced herself as my daughter. She wanted to know her dad, but at the same time I felt this hostility there. She was angry, rightly so, at me for not being in her life, and I got the impression this was a, well I can say I met the bastard, type of thing. She told me how her mother had died a couple years prior, only after finally telling her my full name and to go looking for me. It had taken her that long to finally track me down. She wanted to know everything I'd been doing to that point, while I still found it hard to believe. Eventually she asked why I had never been in her life, and I told her, two reasons. 1. I didn't know you existed, and 2. Your mom completely vanished on me. She didn't believe this, and scoffed, but telling her my own story about what happened seemed to mesh up with some things her own mom had told her. This has created a problem. M practically hates her mother for what she did. She accepts that I didn't even know she existed, and couldn't find her, so she can't fault me for that. 
However she worshipped her mom, and now she's finding out that not only did her mom lie to her about the reason I wasn't around, but now she even questions about her own birth. Was it some stunt by her mother to force me to stay around? We talk from time to time, but her mom has gone from being respected, to, that lying bitch, among other things. I genuinely feel bad about this, and wonder if I was the asshole for telling the truth and destroying whatever memories M had about her mother. So, am I the a-hole? Am I the a-hole for snapping at my in-laws when they tried to influence us to force our adopted son to meet his birth mother? My husband and I adopted his nephew Kai when he was six years old. He had a rough start. His birth mother was never involved and my husband's brother was a single parent for five years of Kai's life. Then my husband's brother met a woman. They were together for a while and got engaged. All while Kai never met her. Kai met her and found out they were expecting a baby the day of the wedding. He knew his dad had someone but no introduction had taken place. What followed was Kai was placed second to the new baby girl and eventually he came to live with us, and a few months after his sixth birthday. In the space of a year he had his whole world turned upside down and it left a major mark on him. It has been hard to get him into a more secure place. He suffers with many self-esteem issues and has been in therapy since we became his legal guardians. His self-esteem took a hit when we got pregnant with our second child, first bio, counting kids we count Kai as our first, and it took a lot for him to be okay. But he adores her and they have a great relationship. Then it happened again with our third child. First he was afraid we would dump our daughter for the new baby. Then he was afraid she would love baby brother more than him. Thankfully he was able to get through it all with love and therapy. There was another hit to him when one of his so-called friends bullied him. It really messed with him. And it showed that things can cause setbacks. He had been bullied before and it didn't bother him because the kid was just some kid. But a friend doing it hurt. Anyway, I say all this because he can still struggle and some things cause setbacks. Maybe certain things always will, or maybe he needs more time. His old therapist always said he always made progress even when he had a setback, he was never as bad as the last time. And we should really listen to him and trust our guts. But she retired and now we have a new therapist this therapist told us, upon learning his birth mother had reached out and wanted to meet him, that we should discard what he wants, he doesn't want to meet her, and force him because it would be healing for him. We worry about a setback, and a more major one too, being she's his birth mother. My husband's parents learned some of this from talking to Kai and then they started pushing us to make him meet her. They say he deserves to know her, that it would be good for him to have that experience. We told them no, my husband said they needed to drop it because it was not their decision. But they persisted, and Friday they came to me while I was alone and called me selfish and said I was jealous. And I snapped, I told them how dare they say it when they aren't the ones who deal with every setback, who have to deal with the nightmares, the sleepless nights, the endless worrying about how to manage when he's in a bad place. I basically let it all out in a tidal wave of emotion and they are pissed and said I was an ass for ranting at them. Am I the a-hole? Thank you for watching, if you like our video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you.